Hey Selfvervians, it's Lisa from Selfverve. If you're new to my channel, welcome to my channel. And if you're coming back, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how I replant some of the plants that I got from my Home Depot haul. So I hope you guys enjoy and let's get started. So first, of course, I'm going to start by putting my soil in these mesh pots. Like I've said in my other videos, this is my first time using these mesh pots and I've heard so many great reviews about them that I decided to give them a try, especially when working with um, vegetables and stuff like that. So I had to refill my refill pot, <laughs> but that's all I'm doing is putting in the dirt because as you know, all plants need dirt. Well, no, not really. So I'm taking, this is my oregano, and I'm squeezing the plant a little bit just to loosen up the roots so that I can pull it out. And I grab it as a whole and not by individual stems and squeeze and gently lift it out of the pot. And be careful not to rip any part of your plants or the stems. It may happen, but just Listen to the plant and it'll guide you. Now I'm just making sure that all of the soil is completely around the plant itself. And I'm going to continue to do that for each of the plants or herbs that I had. That plant actually had a little bit of mold growing on it, so that's what I'm doing. I'm taking the mold off before putting it into its new home. And when making the holes for the plants, just make sure that it's deep enough to where the original dirt is covered just ever so slightly. And these are the rest of the herbs. The rosemary had a little bit of dead stems on it, so I decided to cut those off before putting it into the pot. And I put it in the middle because I thought it would be just so pretty in the middle. This is chamomile. So all together I have chamomile, basil, oregano, rosemary in there. So in this one I am doing the mint and peppermint. And the reason I'm doing them in different containers is because they can be very invasive and it's, it can actually take over your garden. So they go in their own separate little container. I'm sorry it was a little off camera I didn't even realize it until I was editing the video but it's pretty much the same thing as before where you take the plant out and put the dirt in there and yes so here of course filling up my plant my uh, pot with soil and I am taking my bell pepper and putting it into this container. Now I do have other bell pepper plants that will be going in this one, but for now that's fine. And this container is for my jalapenos. And you want to do the same thing, dig a small hole, squeeze the container that it's in already to loosen it up a little bit, grab it by the stem and ease the plant out. 
and then once it's in the hole, slowly cover with soil. Now, I wanted to have a little more jalapeno plants, so I took some seeds and sprinkled them into the dirt as well. And hopefully, I'll have some more little baby jalapenos in there. I do like jalapenos, they are absolutely delicious. This was a little smiley face. <laughs> I thought it was super cute. It was not intentional. So these are the planted pots that I have so far. Um, I have to give them a quick watering. I know you're supposed to water them in the morning, but I didn't do this in the morning, but they needed to be watered. So this is my jalapeno. I have some seeds in there. And this is the bell pepper. I do have other bell peppers um, that I'll be planting in this pot. But for now, that's that. These are the peppermint plants. I already watered them. And this is my herb basket, I guess you could say. Um, and I watered them already. These aren't the permanent spots for them, but it's nice out. I wanted them to get out, so there you have it. I would have watered them some more, but I don't have any, I don't know, like the catch containers under them for right now. And these mesh bags, they do seep through, and my neighbor has a lot of shit down there. I don't want to water these fully yet until I catch the drip containers or unless it's early in the morning like super early before they get up <laughs> but oh well it is what it is so I hope this video has helped you guys out a lot and thank you for watching and also stay tuned to see how they are doing if I have the green thumb that I think I do so until next time I'll see you guys later